All right, today what we're going to be doing is cooking eggplant in the New Wave Pro infrared oven. So we're getting ready now to, to cook this in the New Wave. But before we do that, we need to add some seasonings. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living. Now I told you about the pepper. You will put the, the least amount of pepper you can. You just want a little bit of heat. And then you, you coat it with Italian seasonings. Okay, so. You're just laying it on top, like so. And that's quite a bit I'm using. I like this seasoning, so it doesn't bother me. Okay, instead of using Himalayan sea salt, I'm using garlic salt. Okay, now if you cook this in a regular oven, it would take you an hour, 60 minutes. But because you have a convection oven where the heat is circling around, it's going to cook it within 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Most likely 30 minutes because I've got all this cut up and it's cut in small slices. We're not going to use any sauce on it. We're just going to cook it like this. The next step. You want to move your, your new way of oven and give yourself some counter space so that you can easily pick up the lid and do this if you need to. The handles have to be on the side of along the side of your like this. You have to make sure that this gizmo, which is the lid holder, is flat. So that when you pick this up, and you won't be picking it the way I'm picking up right now, you can lay it easily on this rack over here. You want to make sure that the electrical cords aren't in the way. Alright? Put your lid over here on your casserole dish. Pick up your casserole dish. This is a large casserole dish and it looks like it's gonna fit. Let's make sure. Okay, it's going to fit perfectly. All right, now I'm going to zoom in so you see the controls. When you first plug it in, it should have a zero here, and that's what it does. What you do next is you go to the power level right here. And you press it. It says right here, pH 1. That means basically power high. Power high means 350 degrees in a regular oven. Gives you an idea of what you're going to be cooking it at. I always cook things at 350 degrees, especially eggplant, for an hour. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it for half an hour. So we're going to press over here, cook time, right here, cook time. You press that and you just put in three zero. That's 30 minutes. When you're ready to start it, it's right there where my hand is. You're going to press start. Instantly, you hear it right away. The button right here, it's beeping, it's telling you it's working, and you'll be able to see 29 here in about a minute. There, there's the 29. Now we're gonna leave it alone, in 30 minutes, we're gonna come back and check it. All right, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, isn't that gonna be really dry? I mean, we've, all we've done, the easiest way for me right now is to use this Classico tomato and basil pasta sauce. I know it tastes good, I can trust it. So, what you need to do is warm this up. But it doesn't need to be warmed up, till about the clock saying five minutes. And then you can put it in a saucepan, you can warm it up, or you can use a microwave and you can warm it up. And then you go from there. And then we can lay it, a, a stream of this along on the top of the eggplant and then we'll serve it and eat it. All right, I'm gonna let you know right now, I forgot to put the onion in. My way of cooking is to try to cook without as least amount of oil as possible. So what I should have done is laid the foundation of this, just like you do with an Instapot, put this on the bottom of the pan, and then place the eggplant on there. That was a mistake. So we're still gonna see how it turns up. It probably will tear apart as, I work, as I'm pulling it out to showing you to you, but we'll make it work the best we can. So if you're doing this at home, cut up this onion, put the slices in, all the way flat, then put on top of this, put on the eggplant. We turn it on medium, that's high, there's medium. Put your saucepan on top, take your cold classico, pour it on top. We're just gonna make enough for me tonight. Maybe half a cup. Now you're gonna wait till this boils and you're gonna take it off the pan. And it's gonna be the topping for the top of your eggplant. Now let me show you what's happening over here. It's here, we have two more minutes. We're gonna wait the full two minutes. See right there, you can almost see that it's well cooked. Okay, so the beeper is very small, but here it says end. Let me bring it up so you can see it. That's how you know it's done. Now, this is the hard part. I'm gonna bring you back down so you understand. Now, if you had a large countertop, this would make it easier. I do, so watch. You take it and you put this like that, so it holds it. Just because it's in a dome doesn't mean it's not hot. And then you take a mitt, you pick up the top of your casserole. I can feel 
delicious. And then you test it, and they look like they're all cooked. So get a plate, and then let's see if we can grab, oh look, we're gonna be able to pull it out easily. I'm gonna need four of these. The better looking ones, of course. Now we go to our stove, and then, and we can put as much as we need. Now sometimes what I do, I cut these up in slices, and I put this in a plate, like a bowl, and then my guests can just take what they want, like a dipping sauce. But tonight, I'm going to enjoy this. And this, by the way, is for John. John C. R. V. Check out John C. R. V. It's an incredible adventure on this channel. He talks about all different places and shows you many different ways to repair your cars, your automobiles, and your RVs. Thanks, John. John, and he's Italian, and I thought I'd show him a vegan approach. Now, let me explain you the dish. So you can do a lot of different sides, but this is one, one way that you can serve dinner. You can make it interesting. And as you take a look from here, I have plenty left for the next couple days. Now I'm not going to freeze this, eggplant really doesn't freeze well. I'm going to put this in a plastic container once it cools down and then I'm going to eat it, probably in the next couple days. So what did I do here? Well, I had 15 minutes, I was going to cook a little longer for my wife and instead of pouring it separately from the oven, I just poured it on top of the eggplant. Now I'm hoping I can put it in a dish. See the onion would normally be where all this white spot is, you see, so we pick this up and surprisingly, it's not sticking to the bottom, which is really interesting. So this is what it would look like 45 minutes. So it's not sticking to the plate at all. It's going to be an easy cleanup and it's going to give you a delicious meal. Again, thank you for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you in our next video. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.